Hi, question number 8 taken from October 2015, Advanced Level Maths HSC P3. The variables x and theta satisfy the differential equation dx over d theta is equal to x plus 2 times the sine, uh, sine square uh, 2 theta. And it is given that x is equal to 0 when theta is equal to 0. Solve the dis differential equation and calculate the value of x when pi when theta is equal to one quarter pi, giving your answer correct to three decimal places. Okay, here we are. To solve the question like this, we're going to have to separate the variables. Okay, so um, I'm going to say there's one here, so it's going to be the integral of one over x plus two with respect to x is equal to the integral of sine square two theta. Okay. Right, so how are we going to deal with this? Now this is pretty straightforward. We're going to say the integral of 1 over x plus 2 is ln x plus 2 is equal to the integral of sine squared 2 theta. Now this is a bit problematic. Let us take a look at what we recall. We can know that cos of 2x can equal to 1 minus uh, 2 sine square x. See, there's a sine square here, a sine square here. I'm going to make um, sine square x the subject formula. So I can send this on this side, it's going to become positive 2 sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos of 2x. In other words, we're saying that sine square x is equal to the 2 goes there, it becomes half into 1 minus cos of x but here we're dealing with sine square 2 theta not theta 2x so that's going to become sine square of 2x is equal to half into 1 minus cos of 4x instead of 2x because this is 2x this is x x becomes 2x 2x becomes 4x now so we're saying that the integral of sine square 2 theta is the same as the integral of half into 1 minus uh, cos of 4 theta and with respect to theta so how are we going to do this and we're going to put the half outside we have integral of 1 minus cos of 4 theta d theta that's going to become half you integrate 1 you get theta you integrate this you're going to get minus uh, one quarter because you have to differentiate four theta it becomes four and you divide by four and you're going to get sine when you integrate cos you get sine sine of four theta in brackets of course so x plus two ln x plus two is equal to half of theta minus one eight of sine four theta right and now we are told that um, when well, I mean, x is equal to 0 when theta is equal to 0. So how are we going to deal with it? We're going to replace all of that by 0. So if you put 0 here, it's going to become 0, 0 plus 2. So ln 2 is equal to half times 0 is 0. 1 over 8 times sine of 0 is 0. And then plus the a, of course. So we have a. Right, because this, uh, if you put, you substitute theta is equal to zero in here, sine of zero is zero, zero. Yeah, that's fine. So a is equal to ln two. What is the equation again? It is ln x plus two is equal to half of theta minus one up one upon eight sine of four theta plus a a is ln two. Now we need to find x when theta is equal to pi upon 4 so ln x plus 2 is equal to pi upon 4 times half is pi upon 8 minus 1 over 8 sine of 4 theta 4 theta is 4 times pi upon 4 that is going to give us theta is going to give us pi 4 goes out we're left with pi so this is pi plus the ln 2 and this here is going to be zero because 
pi is 180 degrees, sine of 180 degrees or sine of pi is equal to zero. Therefore we're left with ln x plus 2 is equal to pi upon 8 plus ln 2. Solving for x, we're going to say x plus 2 is equal to e to the power of pi upon 8 plus ln 2. And x is equal to e to the power of pi upon 8 plus ln 2. And you send the 2 on the other side becomes minus 2. What we need to do now is just put it on a calculator. So we're going to say uh, pi upon 8 plus ln 2. Alright. Ln 2. And then we're going to say exponential e to the power of um, this whole answer here 2.9619. 2.9619 minus the 2 x is going to be if you minus 2 from here is going to get 0 0.9619 therefore x is going to give us 0 0.9622 to three significant figures as required in the question and here we are for this question